Hello and welcome to this how-to video. Today we want to talk about the power stack replacement on a Gen24. This video is only for PV installers. We have here a power stack replacement in a transport cover and here we have an existing defective inverter where we want to keep the pilot card, the original pilot. What we need to do first of all is to uh, depower the inverter so we need to turn off DC and AC and then we need to undo all the covers and all the bolts and then we can do the act change. Let's get started. Now we insert the existing and original pilot card. The defective power stack comes into the transport cover and is being shipped back to Fronius. Okay, so now the actual exchange is finished. What we need to do next is to uh, activate DC and AC on the inverter and uh, wait to, uh, until the inverter is rebooted. So this can take uh, up to two minutes and then we can activate the Wi-Fi access point and reconnect to the web interface of the inverter. Let's do this. All right, the rebooting process is finished. It stopped blinking and now we can activate the Wi-Fi access point. Okay, let's head on into our laptop. Here we need to enter the, the open access point of the inverter. With this predefined IP address, you can then enter into the web interface of the inverter. The inverter detected a power stack replacement and automatically starts with this licensing process when you enter the web interface. For this process you need the serial number and the V code and both of those are right here at the side of the inverter. You enter those two numbers and have the option to do an online or offline licensing. We now do the online licensing process. Here you enter the customer password, which you set at the first commissioning process. If you don't remember this password, you can watch the how-to video, which is linked in the video description, telling you how to reset a password. The first step is a general uh, data control here of PV system name, time zone and so on. The second step are terms and condition, which you have to agree once. The third step is a check of the network settings. As we are working with the original pilot, this should remain as it is. And the last step is the license activation. You are now finished with the licensing process. Um, but please don't forget the last step for you is to do a software update. You can do this update via Solar Web and have linked a how-to video for you in the video description. The how-to video is called How to perform remote inverter update in Solar Web. <laughs> 